everywhere boss in the early half today as nigeria scatter in the early half today moment they begin to run heta scatter in the asorok chamber they did not see bola and met inubu as the final big label and met inubu missing tinubu kidnapped in the early half today so i would like guys to stay connected to the end of this video if you can share this video ensure you share it share it to different social media platform let us go over. i'm going to be showing you the video in full you will see everything and how tinubu went missing you will see everything in this video the video is finally out so if you cannot share the video just like it like it as you're watching it give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us we then stay connected i'm coming back again welcome you back to lachibong wash tv i don't have violence for you today the whole of religious gossip and the boys will leave the man for mohammed what is happening in the christian door join now it makes sense with lachibong Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome back to Lajupon Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the first time, ensure you click the rest of the button appearing in your video screen so that you will receive political update whenever we drop a new banger in few hours time. You know, a lot of things is happening in the political zone right now. Also rock shake in the early half today. Politicians begin to run Eta scatter. A lot of things turn upside down, even to the extent that Nigeria scatter in the early half today. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, is finally missing. Tinubu is finally missing in Asorok. Who kidnapped Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Who see Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Tinubu have now turned to a needle that is nowhere to be found. Needle that is very microscopic. So they didn't see Tinubu in Asorok. And all the politicians in Asorok, they said they did not know the whereabouts. And all the politicians in the Asorok said they did not know the whereabouts of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And nobody see Tinubu till now. They be looking for Tinubu few hours ago. But video are finally circulated online the video are finally showcased in the early half today so i'd like us to stay connected to the end of this video if you can share this video ensure you share it share it to different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can share it as you're watching it just like it give it a thumb up like it as you're watching it bola ahmed Tinumbu is finally missing i miss the hardship that is ongoing in nigeria right now i miss the full scarcity i miss the full scarcity i miss the high in price of commodity of goods in market everything i've gone high in nigeria there's scarcity in fact, in the north here, there is farming in Nigeria right now. Even the common man cannot even afford to eat two square men in their houses again. And the Nigerian politicians are out there, mafia and billions of Nera in the Asorok chamber, borrowing money and using the money for their own personal consumptive and luxurious lifestyle. Now they are saying that they did not see Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Tinubu is missing. And the same time, Shetima disappeared in Asorok chamber. Shetima went to US for a US Africa summit and all of that. And the same time, Tinubu is missing. It was Tinubu that supposed to go for that summit but because they did not find Bola Ahmed Tinubu they didn't see Bola Ahmed Tinubu Tinubu left Nigeria one week ago and after Tinubu left Nigeria to Saudi Arabia for a summit in Saudi Arabia for a world economic summit and all of that did not see Tinubu till then nobody see the whereabouts and nobody know the whereabouts of Bola Ahmed Tinubu so a lot of people are saying that Tinubu is being kidnapped and all of that and a lot of people say that Tinubu just threw away that he maybe is tired of Nigeria or all of that now the problem of Nigeria who are we going to face with the problem of Nigeria the president is declared missing and the vice president of Mombat of Nigeria Nigeria and all of that now who is governing Nigeria presently when they declare Tinubu missing so I'd like us to stay connected to the end of this video to see what really transpired is Nigerian politicians playing with Nigerians are they really playing with the emotion and the intelligence of Nigerians people that surround Tinubu in the Asorok chamber are the ones saying now that they do not know the whereabouts of Bola Ahmed Tinubu that Tinubu is missing what Tinubu need to attend to in the Asorok there that's supposed to be beneficial to Nigeria Tinubu is nowhere to be found and now they declare let Tinubu miss that everybody should be looking for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So if you should see Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you can kindly drop your comment at the comment section of this video. They are looking for Tinubu now, but as they are looking for Tinubu, a video has finally circulated and the video has finally come out in the early after day. So a few hours ago, this video was released. So we hear everything in this very video. You will hear from Rufa So Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. <laughs> Where is President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Well, the president was last seen attending the World Economic Forum in Saudi Arabia on Sunday, April 28th. 
the two-day forum, which aimed at helping public and private sector leaders address shared global challenges, ended on Monday, April 29th. The presidency, however, has not released any statement on why the president has not returned to Nigeria. This has led to speculations in some quarters that the president may have proceeded to Paris, France, where he has traveled to several times, reportedly for his medicals. Well, in the meantime, Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shatima departed Abuja for the United States on Sunday to represent President Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the 2024 US-Africa Business Summit. Well, according to the Vice President's media aide, Shatima will join other political and business leaders from Africa, the United States, and beyond for high-level dialogues, networking sessions, and plenaries. The summit will take place at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas, Texas. Okay, Dr. Vati also, I heard you this morning asking, where, where is the president? But you're not the only one asking. Everyone is asking, where is the president? Let me take this tweet from Ngozi who wrote, the president is not in the country. The vice president too has departed from the country. Which kind juju be this who is running the country? No responsible country in the world will have number one and two out of the country at the same time. Nigerians are in for a long ride. Well, there is no official statement at this moment uh, about uh, the president's whereabouts, but you know, there are reports from uh, sources um, in the state house saying that he is probably on a private visit to <laughs> France. Rufai, go ahead. I mean, it's a very apt question. Yeah. And we shouldn't be rigma rolling. You know, because everybody blamed Buhari when they would go on his trips and all of that. So where is President Tinobu? Mm. He went to Saudi Arabia. Isn't it enough that they gave us fake false announcement as regards a Musk deal from Saudi Arabia that they have all debunked and cleaned off their social media now? And now the vice president too is out so two of them are out at the same time so who did they leave the home front for the villa is empty and that's why we need to be able to ask this question president who was not around for his first may day he keeps talking about the right of workers who would have thought that his first may day should be as symbolic as may 29 so he's probably going to come on may 29 and say fellow nigerians right but where, where was he on may day and President Shatima has to go represent the president now. So why are we doing this to ourselves? So we should ask the question. Until today, I'm sure the uh, the presidency will not react. Maybe he will stay for about a week or two, or maybe he'll come back this week. Whoever knows. Well, I, I because, spoke with our state because house they always do the 21 yeah. day clause, right. and that's right. why they can get away with this thing. They get away with. Yeah. So what did Adeswa say? Adeswa said that he may be back tomorrow. So let's hope that he'll be back well, tomorrow. Welcome but, back. But, you know, he, but just, he wouldn't I mean, tell I like us when he went tweet. in six days, right? I, I, that tweet really. I don't know. We can address this later. That tweet about the vice president and the president leaving the home front at the the same time i think it is quite the story but in the meantime former vice president atiku abubaka over the weekend accused president bola ahmed tinubu of conflict of interest over the controversial lagos calabar coastal highway because his son shay tinubu is set to be on the board of cdk integrated industries a subsidiary of the shagori group owned by one of the president's business allies gilbert shagori the former vice president had criticized the contract as hurriedly awarded and executed against the country's procurement laws. While well, in a statement by his media aide, Paul Ibe, Atiku, who berated the federal government, however, advised Tinubu to focus more on attracting real investors than adopting propaganda as a state policy. I mean, I think this is the beauty of democracy, Dr. Bati Ayo. I mean, last week we discussed uh, Peter Week talking about the fact that, you know, we should concentrate on roads that are damaged yeah. instead of going on on the coastal highway. And we see Atiku Abubakar here saying the same thing, almost, as well as saying that it went against the uh, procurement laws. But there are many arguments, several arguments to this story. And I, like I said, it is the beauty of democracy for people to question these um, projects. But in the same vein, Afrobeat musician Sheung Kuti, son of Afrobeat legend Bela Nicola Pokuti, has endorsed the controversial construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Well, in a now viral video, 
the musician said that he is happy that the federal government is constructing the coastal highway because when it's completed, the poor masses can access the beach along the highway. Let's take a look. I said the Minister of Works is busy explaining himself up and down based on since they, they, they started to demolish just of this the business of this rich Nigerians. This thing is suddenly a national issue. It's called the look Nigerian professionals. Journalists do not let the matter die. All journalists that are prominent in Nigeria, every blogger that is prominent in Nigeria has discussed this matter. Everybody that has mouth in this country is discussing this matter. People were in no concern say that they post that, that they post the thing, they don't enter their blog. Why are they destroying land? Yeah. Me, I don't care if they destroy land. Now. Me, I want, I want them to destroy it. But when I take my car, I can go on the coastal highway now and see the water again for free. Maybe some poor Nigerians again. That I've not seen the beach. I wonder when it, when last a poor Nigerian man saw the beach. Except those of you that stay for a lache. Hmm? When last the poor man in Lagos State, in the city of Lagos, see the beach, maybe beach please blow up. You people took over all the beach front, put money for gate fee, excluded millions of your people. Millions from the natural beauty of their own country. You chase them away from the natural beauty of their own country. My dear friend. Well, he's made a lot of points. I mean, I like his last point. Uh, the fact that, you know, when the coastal highway is complete, you know, the masses will have access to it. I mean, I think that we have said it a couple of times here that the, the coastal highway is a great project. We love the project. It's just about the implementation that we're complaining about. But I, uh, Dr. Abati, I don't know, you saw the whole clip. Um, he also talked about, you know, the moment Leila questioned uh, Devu Mahi and said that she disrespected the minister. Yeah. I mean, Sheung, go ahead. Oh, I, uh, okay, so I'm going to just concentrate on Sheung's yes. um, in, um, tirade on which he launched on, I don't know, his social media platform. And I was quite disappointed. I think that's a very mild word to use to describe my, you know, my thoughts towards that um, video. A few things I'd like to address in what he said. Going to your first point around him saying that the coastal, once it's built, it'll now be affordable. I hope he knows that there are plans to toll that road. So there will be money taken from people to, 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 to because they're going to recoup the investment that they put on that road. So I hope he's aware of that. The second aspect is that if the government, you know, sometimes we allude to the private sector, the responsibility of government. Landmark and other developers who've taken on beach tourism and invested money there have done what our own government ought to be taking the lead on in terms of providing opportunities for their people to enjoy, in his own words, fresh air and breeze from coastal and um, from you know these beaches. Unfortunately, they haven't. There are many coastal ways or beach fronts especially in Lagos State. Some of them, you don't have to pay a ticket or pay a price to go there. You can enjoy that. So the danger of having a platform and an inference such as his is the danger of misinforming the people and misleading the people, especially using exaggerated, embellished facts to make your point. Then I'd like to go to what he said with regards to um, the encounter between Leila, Arise journalist Leila Johnson Salami, who has been praised Absolutely. from different quarters as to her professionalism as a journalist in asking questions to the Minister of, um, of Works, Mr. Dave, David Umahi. First of all is that the journalists, the media in Nigeria have a responsibility backed by, by the Constitution to hold government to account. So she was doing her job. The second aspect of it was what he alluded to, which is the oldest thing in the book about, oh, there must be some, you know, um, interaction between them behind the back and that's why she had the F-1 and it was like a love play between the two. I thought it, demean it demeaned her position. Yep. Absolutely. And her brilliance exhibited on that day, and I thought it was very. He should take it back and apologize Absolutely. to Leila for such, it. yes, Absolutely. for such an underhanded comment. Absolutely. And finally, Shell's father, the, the legend, Fela Nicola Pokuti, whom we have sung his music here at times, when we're 
speaking to government was not shy when he came to speak, saying he called the people United Nations um, animal in human skin, animal in putu tayo. He was never shy in terms of holding government to account. When he was talking about, oh, someone was insulting and disrespecting the minister, then what should we say about the legendary music and songs of his father? His father not just didn't use music to entertain alone. He used music as a form of social action to speak to government and to get government to act. So again, like I said, very mildly disappointed in that video and I hope he, re he retracts it and ap apologizes not just to the Nigerian people whom he has misinformed but also to Leila who was doing her job. Well over the weekend residents of Mende Estates in Maryland Lagos were seen in a video that has now gone viral lamenting what they allege was a two-hour notice given to them by the Lagos state government before their buildings were demolished. Let's take a look at that video. What's happening right now at Mende Villa One. Mente Villa One. Happening right now. Two hours to pack out. Two hours. That was what the Lagos State Government gave. Two hours to pack out. And they are here, they are demolishing. Mende Villa. This is in Maryland. Two hours, oh. Now they give us to take pack out. Two. Two hours. This is in Nigeria we are in, no. Oh. Two hours they get to pack out to us. Where do we want to put all these things to? Look. This is our property. No, Leos. So many people. Their vehicles everywhere. Packing. Two hours. Two good hours. Nigeria, my country. People are jagging. They said they should not jagger. Two hours. Lagos State. God, God bless you now. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can see what is really happening in Nigeria right now. You know, Tinubu is missing, and a lot of Nigerian politicians are saying that they don't know the whereabouts of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You know, Tinubu is supposed to attend to a lot of things in Nigeria right now. There is forest scarcity, there is economy hardship, there is high price of commodity of goods in the market, and everything. There is inflation. Things are not working in Nigeria. Nigeria is already sinking and capsizing, but Bola Ahmed Tinubu is nowhere to be found. A lot of people said that Tinubu went out to state treatment. You know, when they saw Tinubu last, they saw Tinubu last when he went for World Economic Summit in Saudi Arabia. You know, he went on an official duty. That was when they saw Tinubu last. But they expected Tinubu to have returned to Nigeria since last week. Nobody knows the whereabouts of Bola and met Tinubu. Tinubu went somewhere else. A lot of people are saying that maybe they kidnapped Tinubu. Why some are saying that maybe Tinubu is missing? Why some are saying that maybe Tinubu is sick and he went to take treatment? But there's no official statement regarding where Bola Ahmed Tinubu is at the moment and there are a lot of things on ground that Tinubu need to attend to. Even Shetima have to leave the country today. Shetima went to US Africa Summit. That is where Shetima is right now. So the vice president and the president himself, they are nowhere to be found in Nigeria right now. now who is now governing the affairs of Nigeria? Is that Pabio that is governing the affairs of Nigeria? The Aso Rock is empty. According to what you heard in a rice TV right now, the Aso rock is empty at the moment there's nobody controlling the affairs of nigeria and tinobu did not give any official statement regarding his whereabouts at the moment that is why he was declared missing in the early of today and mind you a lot of people are saying that since tinobu is absent in nigeria right now a lot of things will be going on in the aso rock chamber things will be going irregularly a lot of politicians will have enough space to mafia a lot of money in nigeria they will have enough space to eat up nigeria before the arrival of Ebola and meant to and some said they have even been eating up Nigeria in the presence of Tinubu before. How much more the absence of Tinubu? If Tinubu should come back, what will he meet in Nigeria? Would they not have eaten Nigeria to the foot? All these politicians in the Asura chamber? That's the question out there. They do not see Bola and meet Tinubu and there's no official statement for it. Even to the extent that they have to declare Tinubu missing for everyone in Nigeria to be helping them to be looking for Bola and meet Tinubu. And if that is before, Nigeria in the diaspora, they would have located where Tinubu is in the diaspora because Tinubu is not in Nigeria. They would have located it when Tinubu was in France then. Nigerians located him in France and they dragged him out in France. But presently, nobody knows where he is. Even Nigerians in the diaspora in different countries across the world, they did not know where Bola Ahmed Tinubu is. And a lot of people said that maybe Tinubu is in the private hospital in the diaspora taking treatment and chilling up and trying to get fit and all of that because according to report, they said Tinubu is not fit. So as the case of Tinubu is still ongoing right now, 
now they are looking for Bola Ahmed Tinubu as there is nobody governing the affairs of Nigeria in the Asurok chamber right now. Tinubu's son is doing a worse thing in Lagos State right now. The person of Baba Yide Sanwolu. Sanwolu is giving Lagosians a very tough time right now. You can see the video that I just finished watching. That thing happened in Lagos State. You can hear it yourself. For them to give those people too harsh notice for them to evacuate their house. That's wickedness in the highest order. Sanwolu are be doing this thing right from time. They will want to take out a house. They want to take down a house in a particular spot and they will be giving the notice a day before they take down the house or they will be giving the notice you can see this one they gave the notice two hours two hours to the time that they want to break down the house and you know the worst aspect is when you are staying in the house they don't care whether you stay in the house or not they will bring their bulldozer and their caterpillar they will bring it down to the house whether the people are staying inside or the people are not inside they don't want to know they will start bulldozing the house if they like the house should fall on the people they don't care the life of these people is nothing to these people that's what they are doing in lagos state right now that wickedness in the highest order is ongoing right now and they keep giving people few hours notice and they will be taking down their house they will turn a lot of people to a houseless people they turn a landlord to tenant landlord begin to sleep on that bridge and a lot of things is ongoing in this country that is causing pain and tears to a lot of nigerians so drop a pin in the comment section on this video as i'm going to get another thing for you ensure you follow me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv and lipo entertainment and on instagram at lipo don't forget if you see bola met tinubu kindly drop your comment at the comment section on this video they are really looking for tinubu tinubu is now a microorganism that is very microscopic nigerian politicians did not see him so if you should see him for us kindly help us to bring him out we need tinubu back in this country to come and fix the problem that apc have caused to nigeria to come and fix the havoc that they have bestowed upon us in nigeria here guess what guys see you in my next video bye